What's up guys, welcome to Ralph playing some Minecraft. I was gonna go fly around and try and find a jungle temple and then a desert temple, but then I found this weird floating rock. This gravel was actually attached to here and then it fell down just before I started recording. But it's a pretty funny little rock here. Just showing you this funny little rock. Anyway, I'm gonna go fly around and see if I can find anything cool for you guys. And right away, this is this is pretty nifty. I found a desert temple, you know, a, a pyramid type guy. So first of all, uh, one of the cool things is I'm in uh, creative mode right now. And if you look, the creative mode menu is a lot different. There's materials, brewing, combat, food stuff. The whole menu is sorted uh, a bit better than before. There's even your survival inventory with armor. So I can drop stuff into there. There's a destroy item. Search. I think you can just type. Like, I'm looking for, um, let's say, a sword. Yeah, there are some swords. So then I can get swords, you know, or a pick. You know, and then it shows me all the picks. Or uh, gold, all the gold stuff. So it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to use this inventory now. You know, like redstone. I'm looking for redstone. There's red wool as well. And redstone ore, redstone repeater. I'm looking for torches. Torque? What is this? Detect Tor. That's why Tor is there. Anyway, that's how that works. It's a pretty uh, cool new addition to the game. Otherwise, uh, single player commands. So I can do slash game hit tab to finish the word. And I'll change that to serve tab enter. Now I'm in survival mode. Which means I can die. And I have this uh, menu back as before. So let's check out the temple. Dun, dun, dun. I hope there's no bad guys in here. I'm not really prepared. Anyway, let you know, actually, I know what these temples, uh, what they have in stock. Uh, you dig in through here, and that is a stone pressure plate there. Uh, and um, if you touch it, there's a bunch of TNT. So actually, let's let's get ourselves a pick. Switch quickly to a game, oops, game mode, creative, or I can look, I can even do give. Let's do a give. Let's do a di give command. Give, uh, pick, no, uh, di diamond, pick, no, the player. I'll have to give it to myself. Give Ralph, diamond, pick, diamond pick is. I have to find a number. Screw it. Let's just do game, creative. Now I can get myself a diamond pick. And I'll put it in my survival inventory so I can put it in here, but it doesn't matter. I have the pick now anyway. There we go, look at that. TNT, naturally occurring TNT in the world. And I actually didn't even need a pick if I was going to be creative. But look at this chest. Rotten flesh, awesome. But gold, golden iron, more golden iron, a lot more golden iron and bones. Alright, so sometimes there are actually going to be, um, what do you call it? diamonds in these chests as well. That's pretty cool. But that is a desert temple thing, which is pretty cool. Now I guess I'll go and find you uh, a jungle temple. First I gotta find the damn jungle. There we go, I finally found one. This took a long time. It took me at least half an hour today trying to find one of these damn jungle temples. But here finally I've got one. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, that I finally found one. I'm gonna stay in creative mode, I guess. Let's see if I can even find the entrance. There's ways in and over there. I think there's a, supposed to be some stairs out in the front. Or well, that looks like a way in, actually. There we go. So the stairs I was talking about out the front are not here. Okay, so there's no stairs out the front. Or that was the front, actually, that I just found. Yeah, these are stairs that go down. Okay, so here is the jungle temple, and I gotta be careful because it's booby trapped. But let's take uh, some torches. Torch. Says like that, and uh, what's that E? Oh, I'm just searching for E now. I'm trying to. How do I close that menu now? Okay. Let's take a look. All right, so here's a secret mechanism, and there should be a uh, trip wire somewhere. There it is. You see it? A tripwire. And that is really weird. If I hold shift, 
it kind of does a little glidey thing. Let's let's sh shift. Um, let's change back to uh, survival. The shift. Yeah, uh, shift is much better. Oh, uh, maybe it's because I'm close to these vines. That's right. And these vines they give me a little climby, climby action. Anyway, look at all this mossy cobblestone. A lot of that stuff uh, back in the game. Let's see if I can uh, figure out how this one works. Hold on, I think actually there's something up there that we have to figure out. Uh, hold on. Uh, there's pistons moving. I guess I guess I'm in. Wow, two emeralds and a bunch of other stuff. Let's see if I can get out of here. All right, where's my? Oh yeah, I don't have my diamond pick again. All right, switching game modes again. The nice thing is, another uh, another nice thing, creative, naturally occurring pistons, so you can grab some of those as well. That is pretty cool. So we've got naturally occurring TNT, naturally occurring pistons. Here's a trap. If I walk over that, it shoots arrows. If you, if you walk around it, you're okay. The redstone goes down there. Ouch. And there's another one, apparently. There. All right, what's in this chest? Ah, uh, more more iron and bone. I was going to say silver, but whatever. And I think if you if you destroy it, it also triggers it. Well, then that's it. And then we've got. Well, we can't pick it up because actually I just destroyed it in creative mode. But yeah, that's a jungle temple. Pretty awesome loot and stuff in here. Even a dispenser and all that. I figured out all you can find in here. You can take all of that with you as well. Uh, another quick little note of little things you can find in the jungle are these little guys. If I'm not mistaken, they are... Hold on, let's see. Game... Uh, hold on. Game... Survival. It is easier to use the too many items way of doing it. But these are cocoa beans. Finally, they occur in nature. That is pretty cool too. And that's it for jungle biomes. Let's see if I can find a village. Alright, finally I found a little village. This took long enough. I've been flying around for another half an hour. Sometimes you spawn right next to a village, and other times it takes literally a half hour or more to find a damn village. Alright, let me quickly change the game mode again to survival. And let's find a villager that looks different than other villagers. So there's this white looking villager here. Right click on him. He's willing to make a tra uh, trade. So he, he, will get, he will take eight ingots for one emerald. The emeralds are now the currency. Um, and as you've seen before, I did find some. In uh, oh, Here's another looking dude. He will take emeralds for cooked pork chops. So if I give him like two emeralds. Fortune cook pork chop. That's how that deal works. And this guy. Oh, wait, they're all trading. All right. I guess they'll all trade. Let's uh, talk to all of them. See what their deals are. This guy will take wool for emeralds. This guy will take chickens for emeralds. So that is the villager trading system. It's pretty cool. Let's just find one where that takes paper, for example, because I got a bunch. He takes fish for emeralds. Uh, see, since I have a lot of emeralds, I would rather spend emeralds to get things. Ah, see this? 18 emeralds for a gold chest, diamond chest plate. I can actually get two, but that is uh, enough for now. So that is an awesome deal. Three, and for the leather pants, even though that might be very sexy, I'm not going to do, do that. Um, but yep, that's the trading system. And, ooh, I didn't know that they had all this in here. That is pretty nifty. All right, and then one of the final things is let's do some of the building type thingies. Let me see. I have enough diamonds. I have a sword. Is there a pick in here, many chance? Actually, let's take all of these things and see if we can trade with one of these guys to get a pick. All right, you know what? Instead of getting a pick, I'm just going to take some of this wood and craft my own stuff. Alright, first off, these wooden logs. Apparently now you can place them sideways. 
I don't know if, if that works like um, pistons now. Let's see. Yep, there we go. You have to probably jump on it like this to place it upwards. Alright, that is a little bit confusing, but fun nevertheless. I like it. So let's take all of these. The next thing is with upside down stairs and upside down slabs. Apparently now you don't have to stick it to anything anymore. You can actually just um, uh, place it on the top half, uh, top half of stuff. So let's make a stair and a slab. Or that's actually a bunch of both. So, alright, these are still right side up. Hold on, how does that work? If I click on the top half and the bottom half. Yeah, so that's how that works. Bottom half and top half. So that's a lot easier to make steps like this now. All these chickens. So bottom half, top half. There you go, steps. A lot easier. And apparently also you can now lay redstone on top of little half slabs like this. So that is also really cool. And there are other things that are new in this game, but I'll leave it at that. And, you know, getting experience from from mining and smelting and all that. I'll show you guys that when I get to my single player again, my Mr. Survival. So yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy this new version of Minecraft and I'll see you guys next time.